All right, starting off first here with the 1958D Metmark Washington quarter. Of course, all these quarters are going to be 90% silver. This first quarter here has a grade by the coin grading company PCGS of a mint state 68. So that's a very, very nice grade. A perfect grade is a 70. That's the highest the coin grading scale goes. This is at a 68, and that's why this quarter sold for over $9,000, nearly a $10,000 quarter. Uh, so keep in mind, if you have these quarters and they're in rough shape and they don't have any types of mint errors or anything, then they are not going to be valuable. However, in this case, uh, this coin has a very high grade, meaning that it's in very good condition. It is the D mint mark, by the way, so the D mint mark is going to be on the reverse at the bottom of the coin if you guys are new to coins in general. Now, here is a 1958 Washington quarter that looks like it's backwards, right? And that's because it has a brockage mint error taking place here, uh, graded by PCGS at a proof 62. So we're looking at the 1958 proof quarter. This coin sold for 12 thousand dollars so always be checking both sides of your coins of course this one does not have a reverse uh, because of the mint error now here's a 1958 no mint mark it's got some nice natural toning to it and it does have a very high grade of a mint state 67 plus that is where all the value is at is in the grade itself and this quarter ended up selling for around fifteen hundred dollars now here is another mint error this is a 1958 quarter that was struck on to a five cent planchet, so a Jefferson nickel planchet. Uh, it is graded by NGC at a mint state 64. And this quarter sold for around $870. Can't beat that. Here is a 1958 D mint mark Washington quarter design that was struck onto a one cent planchet, which would be a Lincoln wheat cent planchet, uh, graded by PCGS at a mint state 64 brown. Of course, that's why it has that copper coloration to it because it was struck on a one cent planchet. And this error coin sold for over $1,600, nearly a $1,700 coin there. All right, here is a 1958 Washington quarter that is the proof quarter. It is graded at nearly a perfect grade, a proof 69 deep cameo by PCGS, the coin grading company. Now, like I say, a 70 is a perfect grade. Uh, it's the highest you can get on the grading scale. This is at a 69. This quarter ended up selling for over $8,500. Back to another mint error coin from 1958. This quarter here has the reverse struck through. So you can look for strike through on all kinds of different coins, not just, you know, 1958 quarters. Uh, you can see that clearly here on the reverse of the coin, obviously. And this quarter only sold for around $75. So nothing too extremely valuable, but, you know, pretty cool mint error coin. Uh, and it's a 1958, so we got to throw it in this video. Now here is a 1958 Type B reverse. So here's an example of the Type A reverse and the Type B reverse and the Type C reverse for different Washington quarters. So the difference there is in the E and the S mostly. Uh, that's a very visible way to tell the difference. Uh, but this coin is graded at a Mint State 64. It only sold for around 90 US dollars. So it doesn't have a ton of value. Uh, you know, had it been a Mint State 68, it would have sold for a lot more money. So uh, you're gonna see getting closer to the 70 grade, uh, the values start to rise based on grade population. Uh, you know, how many of these coins exist at a Mint State 64 compared to a Mint State 68? There might only be a handful at a Mint State 68, but you know, thousands at a Mint State 64. Uh, so that's going to affect the value of these coins. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.